Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you 10 tips for typing on the iPad. So the first technique I want to show you is the ability to tap and hold a character to bring up other characters. So for instance, I'm going to tap and hold E and you can see it brings up all sorts of different E's with different accent marks over them and I can simply drag my finger and select one. Uh, other characters like O and I have these as well just as you would expect. In addition you can go throughout your keyboard and look for them. So for instance here the dollar sign uh, can bring up different currencies. Um, some of these characters can be brought up like that whereas other characters don't have anything. You tap and hold and nothing comes up. So you want to experiment throughout the keyboard and see which characters have something that you commonly use and get to it a little easier this way. Now another thing when you're typing a document and you're typing full sentences you don't need to press the period and then space to start a new sentence. Instead you can simply double tap the space bar. That will insert both a period and a space. And then also notice of course when you start a new sentence after a period the shift key is automatically lit up because the first letter is always capitalized and you don't have to uh, hit the shift key to start capitalizing on a new sentence. Now if you want to go and type a special character, say you want to type uh, just a simple number, you would normally tap the bottom left hand corner, changes to the numeric keyboard, you tap the character and then you have to switch back there. That's three taps. But you can do that with one tap by simply tapping in the lower left hand corner, drag to the number and release and the keyboard automatically snaps back. So you can quickly type different characters just by tap, drag, and release. Now typing apostrophes is uh, something that it's tough to do. You type that, go to the other keyboard, type the apostrophe, and finish typing like that. However, you can do it quicker one of two ways. First is you can simply, for an apostrophe, tap and hold the exclamation mark or the comma key there to get get it or you can ignore it and substitution will automatically put the most common contractions and such uh, with the apostrophe in them and you can just skip typing that character altogether. Now one of the cool things you can do on the iPad uh, it works best if we go over to portrait mode. Uh, we can then split the keyboard. I'm going to tap the bottom right hand corner, hold it down and I hit split. And I could split the keyboard and then I can also tap in the bottom right corner and drag up and down. Position the keyboard where I want and be able to type with basically my thumbs. Uh, another thing if you're going to use this is that notice that if you wanted to type say the letter Y with your left thumb uh, you could do it. The key is there. It's just a phantom key. You can see how I typed it there and you didn't see the Y over here light up. Um, so there are phantom keys for each one of these. The Y, H, and B on this side then T, G, and V on the other side. You can also simply move the keyboard by undocking it like that and then you can drag it up and down. So if it's more comfortable to type with the keyboard at the top or somewhere in the middle or not quite at the bottom, maybe the way you're holding it, then you can position it where you want and it'll stay there until you drag it back down to the bottom or uh, select and hold dock and merge. Now I've got two tips for typing capital letters. Uh, the first is if you want to go all caps, double tap on the shift key and you can see it turns all blue there and now you can type in all caps. Tap the shift key for it to go away. The other thing is you can also use the uh, shift drag or the uh, tap drag to type a capital letter. So for instance if I wanted to capitalize this next word I can tap on the shift key and drag over to the letter and release like that. So you can kind of do a capital letter very quickly that way. Now if you want to undo something you can give your iPad a little shake but I find this doesn't work all the time. Instead you can go to the alternate keyboards and find you've got an undo key there that you can use. Uh, and if you go to the special symbols key keyboard you've got a redo button. Of course in pages here you also have the ability to undo and redo here from the toolbar but that's not in all apps. Now positioning the cursor can be tricky because there's no arrow keys on the iPad keyboard. So what you want to do is you want to tap 
and hold and you get this little magnifier here. And that allows you to place the cursor uh, exactly where you want it, release, and then continue typing from there. Now one of the best typing tips you'll find if you go into the preferences and go into general then keyboard and here you'll find first of all uh, the settings for a lot of the different things we just talked about. For instance enabling caps lock or the period shortcut of uh, double tapping the space bar. So you want to make sure they're turned on else some of those may not work. Same thing with split keyboard there. Um, also you've got shortcuts. Now look at episode number 624 for details about shortcuts but basically you can go and create cool shortcuts uh, for something, for anything, uh, say for your name, for a common email address or anything else you type. And if you type those characters uh, you can then get that full thing. So for instance I just did that with AY. We'll bring up the word anything. Um, and now if I jump to pages and type AY you can see it substitutes that word for me. There's 10 tips that will make typing on the iPad a little easier. And of course, most of those work on other iOS devices like the iPod Touch and the iPhone as well. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMOS Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.